Welcome to another episode of Crypto Freedom. You've been giving us your crypto questions. Now is the time for answers. You'll have heard of a lot of people talking about DeFi recently. But what is it? Before that, if you are new to this channel, welcome to Crypto Freedom. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for instant notification. DeFi is an abbreviation for decentralized finance. Simply put, it aims to create decentralized versions of traditional financial instruments and services. These provide more transparent and accessible options for financial tools. Things like savings, loans, insurance, and so on. Essentially, any form of cryptocurrency is technically DeFi. What Bitcoin is to cash, DeFi is to traditional financial instruments. It's a decentralized, global, digital, and permissionless alternative that promises you control of your own assets. Not just more control, like modern banks and fintechs. Total control. The applications are endless. And while the aspirations may seem a little futuristic, there are already DeFi projects launched, like MakerDAO, Compound, Alv, Kyber, and Ox. DeFi apps exist as digital assets, protocols, smart contracts, and apps that run on blockchains with the flexibility and capabilities to develop on them like Ethereum. Stable coins are one famous example of this. These are blockchain-issued tokens designed to hold on to specific values, such as the IO Tether. Developers can also create sophisticated smart contracts that automate complex financial transactions by removing the need for a middleman to verify them. For example, open lending protocols. The idea here is simple. Users deposit their digital assets onto the platform. When someone else borrows the digital assets, they earn interest. When the loan is over, they get the digital asset back. It's kind of like a bank, only instead of the intermediaries, the smart contracts dictate the loan terms. They connect lenders and borrowers, and they are in charge of distributing the interest. Because there is no middleman, the lender gets all the interest. There's also no credit checks, meaning broader access to people that cannot tap into traditional services. Ultimately, with DeFi you can do everything, from underwriting debt to gain investment returns, to using derivatives. The limits are endless. So where does DeFi go from here? Systems that allow borrowers to access DeFi tools similar to credit scores that also maintain privacy. There are also prospects of blockchain-based, decentralized, autonomous organizations known as DAO. These can be set up to run DeFi apps without anything but the code to govern through the stakeholder votes. The future definitely looks bright, so let us know what you think about DeFi in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.